can you imagine life on earth in the absence of photosynthesis yes now welcome to another session of nutrition in plants part 2 in the absence of photosynthesis there would not be any food the survival of almost all living organisms directly or indirectly depends upon the food made by the plants and you know that oxygen is a byproduct of the photosynthesis and in the absence of photosynthesis life would be impossible on earth let's check out the next one do plants with deep red violet or brown leaves also carry out photosynthesis what do you think yes so here the colored leaves you can see the colored leaves over here yes the leaves other than the green also have chlorophyll the large amount of red brown or other pigment mask the green color that means it uh, cover the green color photosynthesis takes place in these plants also okay so hope it is very clear it's not only in the green plants it's also carried out in the leaves which are deep red violet or brown why are algae green in color always you have seen that these algae are green in color and uh, let's check out what is meant by algae they are the slimy green patches in ponds or other stagnant water bodies and they are formed by the growth of organisms called algae and especially you can see uh, in the pond and all these algae and the algae contain chlorophyll uh, which gives them green color yes i think most of you have seen this algae in the pond now synthesis of food, plant food other than carbohydrates so always we learn that photosynthesis by product oxygen and carbohydrates and stored in the form of starch isn't it yes you have learned that plants in this is carbohydrates so the process of photosynthesis the carbohydrates are made of carbon hydrogen and oxygen these are used to synthesize other components of food such as proteins and fats but you know one thing proteins are nitrogenous substances uh, which contain nitrogen okay so from where do uh, plants obtain nitrogen that we will learn now so nitrogen is present in abundant in gaseous form in air you know 78% of nitrogen is present in atmosphere right however plants cannot absorb nitrogen in this form soil has certain bacteria you know that that bacteria is called rhizobium bacteria and uh, rhizobium bacteria uh, actually they have that ability to take atmospheric nitrogen and they can convert it into uh, soluble form and where are they found uh, these uh, rhizobium bacteria they live in the roots of leguminous plants uh, examples like grams uh, peas beans etc so what they are doing they convert the gaseous nitrogen to useful form uh, and uh, release it into the soil so these soluble forms are absorbed by the plants along with water also you might have seen that farmers adding fertilizers rich in nitrogen to the soil in this way the plants fulfill their requirements of nitrogen along with other constituents plants can synthesize components of food other than carbohydrates such as proteins and 